For our next project, we're going to do some paper weaving and make a really cool background. We'll start with a piece of paper and we'll weave through that paper many different strips. So we're going to use the paper portrait style. It's hard to say. You'll need a pair of scissors. You can use wacky scissors or regular scissors. Starting at the bottom, you're going to cut up toward the top and you want to make stripes or strips that hang down. Make sure you don't go all the way to the top. If you do, you're going to cut your paper into more than one piece. So you can make straight cuts, you can make curvy cuts, you can make zigzags, whatever you'd like to do. Here I'm just varying my cuts. Some are curvy, some are zigzag, some are straight. Mainly I'm just trying to show you what's possible. If you cut yours in all straight lines, your result would be almost like a checkerboard. So it's going to be up to you on whether you want to do something like that, traditional or something a little wackier, zanier, wigglier. All right, once I get done with this one, I have what I call the car wash. A bunch of different strips that hang down. It reminds me of going through a car wash. It's now time to choose from all the different pieces of strips that I'm going to weave through here. So what we've just created is called a weft. The weft is the fo uh, format or um, kind of the framework for our weaving. And now we'll take paper. Oh, that one slipped right out. I like to think of it as being sort of like a dolphin jumping up then diving under. So every other one, you'll go over, and then you'll go under. We'll practice this together. And once you get to the other side of your paper, you might want to tack that in place by just putting a little bit of glue on the strips so that it's held in place and won't fall out. Awesome, and weaving, that framework that we just created is called the warp. And the pieces that you travel horizontally, like the yellow one just there, are called the weft. I like to think of these weft strands, the ones that are traveling horizontally from left to right. It helps me to think of them as like a dolphin, jumping over one wave, diving under the next, jumping over, then diving under. And that repetition is how we'll end up with the paper weaving. There's lots of different ways to do weaving. This is just a beginner's way. And I know the video is going really fast. Don't worry, we'll make sure to um, give directions properly as we go. At the very end of our weaving, we'll actually take a piece of tape and just tape down those very bottom edges just to keep it from sliding around and to finish it off properly. 
So hang on, we'll go over directions together and make a cool background for our next project.